water on the earth come from outer space episode 1 more than three-fourths of the earth is covered with water more than 60 percent of the adult human body is water too but have you wondered how the life-giving water got here in the first place we will try to unravel the mystery in this two-part episode but first, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such content in the future. Push the bell icon to receive updates every time we upload a video. The origin of water is extremely controversial. While there are many explanations, there is just one theory that stands out. Water got to the Earth from outer space. One of the most favoured theories that is now doing the rounds in the scientific community is that water got on the surface of the Earth after planetesimals or water-rich objects such as asteroids or comets collided with the Earth. Earth is in the Goldilocks zone, the right distance from the Sun for water to remain in its liquid form, making it a place for life to thrive. When scientists look out into the furthest corners of the visible universe to find the existence of life on other planets, they search for objects situated in the Goldilocks zone from their suns. Water, one of the vital sources of life, may be extraterrestrial. How? To understand how Earth got water, we must travel back in time when our sun was just born. A protoplanetary disk surrounded the young sun with gas and dust in it. As time passed, the gas and dust in the disk began interacting and eventually led to the formation of planetesimals, the building blocks of comets, asteroids and planets. The protoplanetary disk sat where the Earth is today. However, it was very hot for water to exist in liquid form. Now, this is a mystery to scientists. If water couldn't have formed in the early stages and the Earth did not have an atmosphere, how did water get here in the first place? Science has discovered many things as far as the theory of water on Earth is concerned, but with every discovery, the mystery deepens. According to the latest theory, water was not present after the planet evolved from the protoplanetary disk, but received it later from other objects that collided with the Earth. We know that both comet and asteroids harbor ice. In fact, some comets or asteroids have enough water to deliver as much water as we have today. Now we have the answer. Do we really? Not really. Scientists have many more questions than they have found the answers to. We will carry on with this topic in our next episode. How did you find this information? Please mention this in the comments section. We would also like to know the kind of content you want to watch and we will try to create it for you. For more news and updates, follow Air News. Thank you for watching.